Good afternoon, Michael Massarang here again. Uh, and today we're down in Weddington, North Carolina in Union County. Uh, we're here with one of our existing customers. We have completed the installation. Uh, it is uh, early spring, uh, a really nice day today in the low 60s, uh, clear and really dry. Uh, today, uh, we're gonna go over a few features of some of the work that we did here. Uh, and as you can see, uh, this customer has uh, some pretty decent sized bushes. Uh, they, are, they are pretty well maintained. Uh, and this house uh, is graded properly. We're properly sloped away from the structure and uh, good downspout extensions. And uh, they are gonna replace their gutters uh, at some point here in the next year or so, go with oversized gutters. Uh, which will help keep uh, water away from the uh, away from the foundation. The house does have a minor water intrusion issue. There is a sump pump that is in here that was installed before we got here. Uh, of course, so we service that sump pump and uh, uh, as part of our overall uh, protocol, uh, this house uh, is a standard stick built home built in the 80s. Uh, did have some spanning issues. So we were asked to address uh, the moisture issue, water uh, intrusion issue, as well uh, as take care of some spanning issues. So today we're gonna look at some features that we did on this installation. And uh, here we go. We're at the crawl space entrance here. Let's turn on the lights and see how things look. We did uh, do just a standard contractor class white liner on this installation. Uh, this is not a fiber reinforced liner as the fiber reinforced liners tend to off gas odor. Uh, we did do uh, an Atmox program on this, on this uh, crawl space. And here we have the interior fans actually running today as opposed to running the expensive dehumidifier. Uh, you can hear here the Atmox intake fan is running and you can see how quiet this is. You can barely hear it. This is a triple intake fan. We have two of these on the protocol. As you can see, we just passed also one of the low voltage lights. Uh, the low voltage light package is available with the Atmox program. We put these standard on all of our installs. Most of our competitors that install the system do not. Uh, we just do it without having to be asked. And this is what we call the ACE controller. This is the brains of the entire system. The Atmox program runs the dehumidifier and the network of fans, which you've just seen the interior and in, the exterior intake fans. And all these simple uh, control mechanisms here go to the various parts of the system itself. Very easy to install. Uh, if you're looking to install the system, you can see that they've really improved over the designs of prior Atmox programs to this latest design, wood moisture sensor, uh, the outside sensor, outside sensor display. Uh, it can operate a sump alarm if needed. Uh, the low voltage lights and the various fans here are easy for the installer to be able to uh, uh, to deploy without any uh, without any challenges there. So uh, standard electrical outlet will run the entire system. Another light here, low voltage light to help us light up the work area. This is the sump pump that was installed by someone else before we got here. We did service the sump pump. Not exactly the what I what we would do in a new installation. Uh, I'd usually like to use a lot more rocks and we'd use a half horsepower pump, but this is certainly sufficient until it needs to be serviced. Low tested the exit line for effectiveness, which is out here at the left uh, front section of the home. We did do a full industrial cleaning program. Uh, as you can see, this is new eco-friendly Owens Corning R19 fiberglass insulation. The floor system has been cleaned of microbial growth. And as you can see, uh, it did clean up very well. The product that we use is 100% 
are safe for you and your family and your pets. It actually removes all of the material. It brings it to the surface and we're able to remove it with just towels and rags without dry ice blasting or soda blasting or some of these other uh, really, uh, I don't wanna say, aggressive uh, type of procedures that can actually dimple and damage the wood. Uh, this process that we use for cleaning uh, the microbial growth uh, is very gentle and it doesn't damage the wood. Crawling here to the outside, we see this is the exterior exhaust fan. Same thing, very quiet. This is a triple exhaust. We have one on each side, one on the front, one on the back. Uh, and as you can see, it is running right now. The temperature is perfect outside. It's in the low 60s. The dew, uh, the, the dew point is like down in the 30s. Relative humidity is non-existent today. So a very good day to run on the outside air. Uh, Also, uh, as you can see on some of our other videos, we've done a drop girder system. This is a CMU pier, eight by 16 CMU pier, constructed on a 24 inch by 24 by inch, uh, 24 by 24 by eight inch footing. This is a W6 by W9 structural steel, five inch uh, beam. Uh, and as you can see, you can spread those spacings out to eight feet, no problem when you're using structural steel. Uh, this was to firm up the floor system up in the kitchen uh, area uh, where they had some pretty bad floor deflection. You can see that the guys did use proper shims, uh, pressure treated, and uh, of course four inch by four inch metal shims here at the, uh, at the steel drop girder uh, interface with the top of the pier. So, you know, this is not going anywhere. And uh, we... Uh, we certainly do a lot of these these days and cutting floor span seems to be one of the biggest requests that we get for older homes like this. Uh, you can see here, same thing. Uh, and also you'll see here a commercial dehumidifier that's in place, not running today again. We're on the outside here. There's no need to run the expensive dehumidifier. Uh, and this is a, a Watchdog 85C. Uh, we've been putting a lot of those in place. They seem to be pretty reliable. And we've been using a lot, a lot of these on our backup systems for the Atmox program. Now, what a lot of folks will say about fan systems, they don't work in the summertime. Well, that's not true. In the summertime, there's less opportunities for air exchange, that's true. But the system knows that. There's a series of sensors that are on this program, wood moisture sensor, interior sensor, and the exterior sensor, which I'll show you on the way out, which basically calculate dew point all the time. There's no reason to run the dehumidifier unless it's absolutely necessary. Yes, it will run in the summertime sometimes, but believe it or not, even at night, there are days where we have good dew points and we can run on the outside air at night during the summer, even in August by a factor of dew point. So when companies come into your living room and say you can't use fans, well, this is working just fine today on the outside air as it can for probably 80%, 90% of the year. You don't have to worry about running this expensive dehumidifier except in the worst case scenario, maybe seven to 10 days or two to three weeks of really heavy, heavy moisture, tropical storms or things where even at night, the dew points are up to 72, 73, up to 75 then of course we would have to run on the dehumidifier. But once we're running on the dehumidifier, the dead corner fans will kick in around the dehumidifier to move air around the crawl space efficiently as dehumidifiers do not use, uh, they, they don't move air very well. They're terrible at moving air. The tighter the crawl space, the less efficient the dehumidifier is. And unless you have a dead corner fan, it's, it's going to run incessantly burning the compressor out and causing the customer to have an excessive high power bill. So with the Atmox program running the dehumidifier forces it to run on a factor of dew point and the dead corner fans running on low voltage with the low voltage lights and the interior exterior fans support 
this crawl space in a way that's completely unique from someone who has a completely closed system. And this, this type of program falls under vented code, which is nice. You get to keep the fresh air in the matrix, which equates to fresh air quality upstairs. Customers will deploy the system just for odor problems alone. Keep in mind encapsulations, the biggest complaint that you get from encapsulations is smell from the liner, from the soil gas, from the construction materials in the crawl space. So, you know, these, these systems are deployed for moisture as well as maintaining a good air quality column for the home. So uh, this, is a, this is a really fun installation. You know, it's always fun when we do the white liners, structural steel drop girders, CMU piers, uh, and of course my favorite program, which is the Atmox program, uh, is one of my favorite things to deploy as it really adds a nice touch to the overall system. Here's the dead corner fan as we discussed that helps that dehumidifier to run efficiently and when we're on the outside air, the outside air is being moved across the crawl space by there's four of these dead corner fans in the crawl space to support the system. So very effective way to, if you're on the outside air or if you're running on the dehumidifier, if this system is properly maintained and installed correctly by a seasoned professional like myself, you'll have decades of good quality crawl space air control uh, from moisture as well as odors. But again, it's gotta be, it's gotta be a system that's installed properly. On some of the channels on the web, you'll probably see people finding older Atmox systems that uh, may have gotten out of service or they weren't installed properly by somebody who didn't know what the heck they were doing. This system is very technical. It must be installed correctly by a properly trained professional that's been trained specifically by Atmox systems themselves. So if you're a homeowner, you have an Atmox system and it's out of service, don't let a crawl space encapsulation company tell you that the system doesn't work. It probably just needs to be updated or it needs to be modified. Contact Atmox Systems. Get a professional referral from somebody in your area that's a certified Atmox trained installer and find out what's wrong with the system and fix it. No big deal. So uh, if you have any questions about encapsulations, controlled ventilation systems, drop girders, structural steel, uh, sump pumps, uh, liners. Uh, we certainly would appreciate a pro call, especially if you're here down here in Union County. We, we come down here all the time. We live close by uh, and we'd love to come to your home, have a free phone consultation or a visit to your house if you'll have us. But uh, look at the number down at your screen or you can visit our website, send us a message through the website and we'd be glad to talk to you more about these things and educate you on the differences between encapsulating and controlled ventilation and help you to find a really efficient system like this customer has here today. So uh, thanks for uh, watching today. We look forward to seeing you soon uh, and hope you have a good rest of the day. Thank you very much.